Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the latest video and there were frequently asked questions regarding the latest video. So I'm trying to make another video um, regarding those questions right now. Hope this video helps you guys a lot. First of all, a lot of things that were asked is about the mats that are needed. Well, for example, um, if you transfer from plus 21 Vulcan Vicus gear to bro gear then it becomes 13 right uh according to my latest video and this is how it looks like from 13 to 14 it requires like these much mat and the important part is this so what can be transferred from the proportion of five to one so these mats the stone the leaf stone and the the green i mean sorry the blue and the red stones like this can be exchanged from five to one proportion right here this from this guy yeah see you can exchange five of these to one of this and five of these to one of this um yeah and there are some more things you can exchange it from five to one it is the free honing mat as you can see here this part right here see if you have five of these free honing mat you can exchange it to one of them at 1490 yes okay and the more things that you have to know is um for this one the oreha fusion mat it cannot be transferred i mean it cannot be exchanged you have to either make it from stronghold or you have to buy it from the auction house okay so when the bro patch comes uh, you guys have to look into the research because in the research, uh, there will be some research that can allow you to craft those advanced Oreha fusion mats. And this will be it. Here. This one. You can make it with either hunting mats like this, and you can make it 20 of them. 20. And it takes like uh, one hour for making 20, and requires this much amount. And this much... Um, activity and gold um same for others um you can also make it from fishes it requires this much and you can make it from excavating requires these much amount and for the rest of them like the shard and silver um like there's no upper tier like you use the same yeah okay the next question was what happens to the quality if I transfer the Vikis Vulcan gear to Bro gear? So it's very simple. The higher one remains all the time. So spam noted. Okay, and the next frequently asked question was um, um, the, the artisan. Like you can easily predict because the percentage is fixed. You always get 46.5%. 46.5% of the success rate of that success rate for so for instance the odd from plus 13 to plus 14 I'm pretty sure this is 5% right yeah so what is the 46.5% of 5% that's around like two points somewhere right so that's the artisan you're gonna get but the thing is the artisan will keep will start to keep grow right because every time you fail for very first 10 times uh, it will increase by some certain amount. If it's 5% from the base, then I'm pretty sure it's going to increase by 0.5% and eventually hit 10%. You guys understand this, right? And if you guys use solar, solar uh, most likely makes allows you to have a double odd. So when you start from 5% with full solar, then that's 10%. Okay, one other thing is that there's people who are asking, will the Brochaza gear be free tradable to other gear and yes it can uh by using this feature right here that you guys already have uh this also applies same on bro gears as well so for instance let's say that i mean this will never happen i think but let's just say that for your first armor piece uh let's say you needed earth entropy but you accidentally made a nightmare it doesn't matter you just transfer it and you go to this uh, UI and click this button and change that bro gear, that one piece of bro gear part to, to Earth Entropy and you're good to go. 
yeah, it works exactly the same. So no need to worry about it. Okay, lastly, lastly, what I want to show you is about the tier 3 tower. So this is tower 3 called, I mean tier 3 tower called the Tower of Destiny. And it starts from 1490 uh, from first floor. It gives you some of the car packs, like as you can see. And there's some potions uh, for your combat stat. And uh, some selectional engravings on 1500 from 6th floor. And 1510 required from 11th floor. It gives you the advanced mat. See, these are advanced mat that you can get. Uh, it is roster bound. The chest is roster bound. So you can give it to your alt as well. And on the 15th floor, there is one skill point, which is very crucial, right? And if you hit 1520, then you can go from 16th floor and it gives you some card experience. And 20th, you get Selectional Class Engraving Legendary Book. Selectional Class Engraving Legendary Book. It is possible to sell. It is tradable. Once you uh, open the box, it is tradable. Okay, and if you hit 1530, then you can go from 21st and it gives you some mats, advanced mats like this. And at 25th, you get Masterpiece. Yeah. The thing is, there are more rewards from here, but you don't get it from here. Because in KR, when Bro Normal came out, they only opened the floor up to 25th, guys. They opened the rest of the floors from 26th to all the way to 50th when Elgasha, like this region that uh, you guys are watching, yeah, the, the Elgasha. And this is a 1580 content, by the way, guys. I mean, you can clear the main story even if your level is 1460. But mainly, this the majority of the content for this um, region is 1580. And as you can see, the 50th floor here requires 1580. And there's a advanced skill point, which gives you 6 skill point. Anyways, I uh, hope this, you know, video helped you guys a lot. And see you guys on the next video. Stay giga shit. Spam loaded.